there's something longing for satisfaction within every man's uh, heart. Because if you check very well, for example, the people who really want to be millionaires and millionaires and billionaires and trillionaires and even you, <laughs> let's say you're broke, you just want to have more and more and more. Why do you want to have all this? It is because of competition, because of jealousy. You're jealous from another person and another. Because if, 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 um, if we all came and told you, okay, we will give you the whole of the country. It is yours. You can do whatever you want. Are you going to construct all those houses that you're constructing? Are you going to build, uh, buy all those beds that you're buying, all those TVs that you're buying? Are you going to have two or three or five homes? No, you're not going to have them. Why are you doing this? Because there's something inside deep in your spirit which longs for satisfaction. You're looking for a way. If somebody, let's say he's a musician, he wants to be a big celebrity. For what reason? So that I can be bigger than so-and-so. So that I can be the biggest video uh, producer. I can be the biggest politician. I can be this and that. Do you think even presidents, they enjoy being presidents? Everybody's always abusing you. People telling you all sorts of things. You're the one who is making us poor. You're the one. So where is the fun in becoming a president, becoming an MP, becoming a big person, becoming a celebrity over this and that? There's no fun in it, okay? And this is why people are so much stressed. People are longing to feed some, some hole, something which needs to be satisfied within ourselves. And understand one thing. You see, you cannot satisfy a spiritual thing with carnal things. When I talk about a spiritual thing with carnal things, I mean you cannot satisfy a craving of the spirit with, uh, with things like cars and, and, and uh, houses and uh, good clothes and all these things that people are always chasing after. Because the longing in our spirit, it is something God put in us so that we can seek the kingdom of God. And the Bible tells us about this kingdom of God. And many people think, when I go to church and I give my pastor tithes and offerings and I buy my pastor a nice car, I'm going to do something in my heart. When he tells me, thank you for doing this for me, I'm going to be blessed or maybe something is going to be fulfilled in me. But do you understand one thing? It's never about carnal things. All those prosperity churches are just fooling you because they can never satisfy what is inside your spirit, that longing with carnal things, with things of this world. Remember the Bible told us in the book of Romans chapter 14 from verse 17 to 19, the Bible says, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, is not natural carnal things, meat and drink, okay? But righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. That is what the kingdom of God is all about. God is full of, is rich in mercy, is rich in grace, in righteousness, all the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That is the richness of God, okay? And then the Bible says, for he that in these things serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Let's look for ways. How can I make my brother be able to come to Christ? How can I edify someone? How can I help someone? Those are the things which are going to give you the peace that you're looking for. That empty hole inside your heart which feels as if it, is, it can never be filled. Try love. Try loving other people. Remember Jesus said that Love is a fulfillment of the law. If you really want to fulfill everything that God called you to be, love others. This is the reason why you see someone works very hard. I want to make more money and more money and more money and more money. Okay, fine. That's cool. You make a lot of money. You start a lot of businesses. You become a big entrepreneur. You achieve all the things that you want to achieve. Then after you become very successful, most of the successful people, they become philanthropists. They become people who want to give back to the society. Now, why are you giving that which you have collected from the society? It's because you found that it is worthless. That's why you will see these rich people. They, they are educating children. They are doing these and they are, they, they, are, they are building homes for the poor and for the needy. And while on your way to success, you really stepped on these needy people to become who you are. And once you have arrived to your goal, then you find that, oh, these things are just nonsense. I have 10 cars, but I can only drive one. I have 
10 beds, but I can only sleep on one. That is the moment that people realize that it is all vanity and it cannot fill that void within my heart that I feel that I want to, you know, it cannot be filled by things. All right. And then the Bible says uh, in First Corinthians 4.20, it says, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. It's not in word, just saying and saying and saying and saying, but is in power. Do you have the power to resist the temptations of the evil one? Do you have the power to resist when things come, when deals come, and you know very well this deal is coming, and I have to do evil things to achieve it? Do you have the power to resist? All right? Now, the Bible has told us all these things. Not to scare us, not to tell us uh, uh, that uh, we should not work or we should not do anything. But my friends, let me tell you, there is a void within all of us which seeks and which is crying for satisfaction and that satisfaction come can, can only come through knowing jesus christ through getting saved because the moment you get saved you get the holy spirit within you and the holy spirit teaches you to love others to care about others to do good that is exactly what the work of the holy spirit is all about and then once you start loving others you are dying to self yourself is dying you you start thinking you start seeing that me myself i have nothing i don't really care about myself i really care about loving others and loving god with all my heart mind and soul and loving others as i love myself and that is the only way that is the only way that that void that hole can be filled it cannot be filled by being a celebrity or making money or doing good in the society because the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it is righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost.